A 15-year-old young man hit and killed in the East Arlington neighborhood while just walking to the school bus stop. Now we are learning people who live there have been pushing for more street lights. Within the past five minutes, that road just did reopen. Police say the driver who hit that young boy did stop and is cooperating. The crash happened just before 6.30 this morning on Matthew Unger Drive, which is north Kernan, or near North Kernan Boulevard. Channel 4's Ashley Harding has been out there all morning long. Joining us live, Ashley, the road did just reopen. Do we know anything else about this community that's been fighting for more lights? Well, I do want to tell you about this teenager. JSO has not yet released his name, but we do now know that he was a student with Duval County Public Schools. Now, by law, they cannot tell us where he went to school, but they tell us that grief counselors are on hand for his classmates as well as staff at that school. But yes, the road just opened. You can see this is the area where it happened. Now, yes, this happened about 625 this morning. And all day, we have been hearing from neighbors who say the big concern is there are no lights. Take a look around. There are none to be found. Again, this happened at 625 this morning. Neighbors tell us they've been asking the city to add some for years. And according to the sheriff's office, this teenager was walking to the bus stop. Now, they're still trying to find out if he was on the road or on the grass. They do know he was not on the sidewalk. Now, he was hit from behind by that SUV and he died at the hospital. And as mentioned earlier, neighbors have said it was only a matter of time before a tragedy like this would happen. Why didn't somebody listen? Our hearts are breaking for this family. I heard they have a newborn baby also, uh, that some, one of the neighbors just told me that because uh, he lives right in the neighborhood here. And it's just 15 years old is so young. Just it makes me get a lump. I don't even know the child. <laughs> but something has to be done here. And I also talked to our crime and safety analyst, Gil Smith, who says this is a good reminder, even though we are into the school year, it's a good reminder for parents to find out if their kids are safe walking to school. For parents to walk that route with their kids to make sure they're taking a safe route. But we're in April now, so parents just may assume, well, everything is okay now. There have been no problems. But with the daylight saving, it is darker. So you may want to take that path with them again. And we did receive a statement from DCPS. It says, quote, on behalf of the superintendent, the school board, and the entire school community, we want to send our thoughts and prayers to the family and loved ones of the student. Grief counselors are present at the school to provide support to students, faculty, and staff. Very tragic story to bring to our viewers this afternoon. We will be following this story. My colleague Vic Michalucci will have live reports starting at 5 o'clock tonight. Live in East Arlington, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.